The anticipated arrival of some 8,000 Marines by next year has Naval Base Guam working to upgrade its facilities. Out of $1.1 billion, $674 million is for the Marine relocation and about $320 million is coming from Japan. NAVFAC Mariana's commander, Captain Paul Feligny. Uh, it's going to the same spots, Benigaijin, where the main Marine base will go, Anderson, again to support the, the presence of the Marines up there at Anderson Air Force Base on the North Ramp and down here at Upper Harbor. So we've really kind of coordinated the U.S. government and the Japanese government funding to come together for construction at what will be the main areas worth supporting the Marines. Other projects being worked on is part of the reason the Naval Base and Anderson Air Base combined to form the Joint Region Marianas. Believe me, says these projects will prevent the Marines from constructing a base from the ground up. Running a base is pretty common, be it Air Force Base, Navy Base, Army Base, Marine Corps Base, what it takes to run the base, and by running the base we mean not the ships, the planes, the submarines, or the marines, we mean the road, the galley, the housing, the wars, the utilities, the transportation, the MWR programs, the basic things of taking care of the people. Some of the projects the Navy has introduced is the upgrade of its fitness center, a new set of bachelor enlisted quarters, and working on becoming more environmentally friendly with the solar water heating panels and wind power system. And while they plan to work on upgrading facilities like the hospital, a major project is the extension of the Kilo Wharf, which the Navy has $43 million to spend on. In fact, Fellini says $400 million was awarded just yesterday for nine local small businesses and one off-island company to work on various projects. We want to do a variety of types of construction over the next several years. Please give us your proposal. Please tell us you know, your past performance, your experience, your key personnel, how do you do on safety, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We go through a selection process, uh, including uh, some pricing on a couple sample projects, and then we select a certain number of reduced firms. Other upgrades include widening the drainage systems on Camp Covington. News Talk K57's Travis Kaufman and our photographer Charles Eckert also took part in this project with the CBs by operating heavy equipment. Nick Delgado, PNC News.